everyone and welcome. Brussels are abusing their power again. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. In regards to mass migration, no surprise there, is it? It seems that Viktor Orban and the Polish leader have effectively been left to their own devices against the EU Migration Pact. EU interior ministers have been at loggerheads over plans proposed by the European Commission that would see the introduction of mandatory, you, you hear this, mandatory, forced, is that that's basically says, migrant le- relocation scheme, with nations who refuse to oper- cooperate, so Poland and Hungary, find a penalty of up to €22,000 per migrant. Now, Viktor Orban is furious, as you can imagine. This is unacceptable, he said. They want to turn Hungary into an immigration country by force. Exactly, Victor. Maybe now is the time to leave this bureaucratic, despotic, tyrant den of vipers and go your own way, because obviously they will keep pushing this down your throat until either you give in or your country does. A cohort of European nations, including Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, Czechia, Croatia, Malta, Bulgaria, Lithuania and Italy had vowed previously to vote this migration pact down. As they argued, the plan will force the acceptance of migrant quotas set by Brussels and it was an infringement on their national sovereignty. The people of these nations don't want this, so it would most definitely be an, an infringement on their national sovereignty. But they don't care, they don't care at all. Now, you did hear in that that Italy, Maloney, run Italy in that lot. Well, it turns out that Italy were just after concessions by the EU. And the EU apparently have given them concessions. There's no indication of what those concessions are yet. But what they were looking for the power to do, Italy, was to expand what the definition of safe country was so that they could send failed refugees home. So it seems like... It's along those routes. Whatever it is, what, whatever the deal was that they made, it crushed the opposition from Poland, Hungary, Slovakia. It cr- collapsed. And everybody voted for the migration pact, except Hungary and Poland. Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni has made cutting migration a key component. It doesn't sound like it, does it, everyone? Politically, it is impossible to go ahead without Italy, said the EU before this deal. Speaking on the condition of anonymity to dis- discuss the talks, like the other diplomats who spoke to Politico, it is the EU's country that symbolises migration. A second EU diplomat was just as blunt. A migration pact without Italy is not worth the paper it's written on, but a pact in L'Italien will drive everybody else away from a deal. So what these EU twat waffles are saying is, if Maloney had stuck to her guns, this migration pact would have been dead in the water. Doesn't sound very, I don't know, Italian national, does it? Maloney needs to consider very carefully that she needs allies beyond her traditional friends if she wants this to work. I would say that you are not allies in any way, shape or form. You are tyrants. You are the masters, in your own eyes, of all of these nations. And you're going to use what you've just brought in, aren't you? Now, you may remember, they removed the ability to veto. So it no longer needs to be a complete majority. Now it just has to be a slight majority. It only needs to be 60% voting for, and it will be forced through whether the other nations like it or not. doesn't sound very diplomatic at all, does it? (laughs) The Italian government took particular objection to the proposed returns process. Rome had sought to widen the criteria for which country of origin was deemed safe. To initiate a return for rejected asylum seekers, this has been met with considerable German opposition. Nothing to do with them, really, is it? We can only deal with migration together as the EU, not as nation states. I think Poland and Hungary will completely disagree with you there, and the statistics prove they're right, you're wrong, you fraggles. I'm fighting for an EU of open borders. Still haven't learned, have they? Angela Merkel came out and said mass migration was a disaster. Integration hadn't happened and it was creating segregation and parallel economies. Sweden have just said exactly the same and the EU are still forcing 
open border policies. And now they're going to fine Hungary and Poland unless they take in hundreds of thousands too. Apparently Polish leaders have already come out and said they can fine us as much as they want. They're still not getting in. So I hope, I hope Hungary does the same. And I hope these other nations, Slovakia, Czechia, Croatia, Malta, Bulgaria, Lithuania and Italy, hang their heads in shame. Absolutely shocking. Let me know what you think. No, I'd like to know your opinion, everyone. Stay sane. Thank you for getting to the end of the video. I'll see you on the next one.